Hey Sid, why aren't the trains not stopping? Well lad, it's like this. It's out of my hands. Until I've got proper facilities in the ticket office and the my office is fully furnished, um, the powers to be won't let any train stop. Oh, and not only that, where's me passengers? Hello everybody, welcome back to Tony North Easton. Here we are, having a bit of fun as usual. And, um, yeah, and we're carrying on with this build. Part 17. Now, I'm wondering, how many parts will it take for me to finish this build? As we go through the stages. I'm thinking to myself, it's got to be about 28. Let me know in the comments, will it be more? Or will it be less? Still a lot of work to do. I think we better get started. Let's head over to the bench. So we have the main building in front of us and, and I'm looking and I'm thinking, well, how much is there left to do to completely finish this um, internal detail? Um, well, the, the ladies, I think that's completely done. I don't think I can add any more to that. The ticket office, however, needs desks, chairs and uh, other little bits and pieces. Sid's office needs the same desks and chairs and maybe a few more pictures to go on the bare walls there. Um, the main, the, the waiting room just needs benches uh, to finish it off and some figures in there sitting in there reading their daily papers or whatever because it's more or less uh, the quiet room. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot to do to finish this off. Obviously I've got to put some pictures or something on that back wall because it looks a bit bare. So let's go back to the list that I created originally um, a couple of weeks back. And um, looking at it, uh, station master's office just needs a bookcase, a cupboard, because I've already done the chairs, because I did the chairs last time round. Um, the ticket office needs uh, desks and chairs and maybe, I wrote down here a locker, but I don't think it needs a locker. But it might need um, maybe a, a safe or something like that, somewhere to keep all the, the coins from the ticket sales. And uh, the ref refreshments room, benches, chairs and tables. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of doodling. Uh, we have a safe, uh, which I've not made before, and I've not made one of these before either. It's a desk com bureau. Now, I've seen one of these on the Kent and East Sussex Railway inside one of the station masters' um, rooms. I thought, oh, I'll copy that, and this is all that. And also, I've made a small cupboard here for the radio to sit on, so Sid is being really spoilt, I think. But before I can make any of them, I've got to do the floor, which I've not done yet. So it's quite long, this floor. As you can see, it's 305 millimeters long. So I'm trying to work out the areas. So this we know is the ladies, hence why I'm drawing some tiles. I'm just scoring it with a pen and then I shall go over with some white gloss paint. Um, I know all this work could be for nothing, but we never know. You could see it, especially when these rooms are lit up. Um, so that's the thinking. Once this is done, I shall do this and the rest of the rooms with the standard floorboards. And um, yeah, and then we can start on the furniture. Firstly, we're going to start off with Sid's radio cabinet. Um, more or less what we've done before, so what I've done here is I've measured the width and marked out four drawers and doors and then 
we've got the top and bottom the top I've just gently taken the corners off now this is one mil card and this is uh, 0.5 card and then we've got our four infills to bring the thickness of the cabinet up to 8 mil um, you can make cabinets any size you want um, depending on how much room you've got in your buildings um, so this one's going to fit just between the fireplace and the wall so there's plenty of room for this cabinet um, so it's just a case of just gluing all this together now it's, it's stuck so that's the shell of the cabinet and you just got to put the top and bottom on and now we have made a start on Sid's desk stroke bureau um, I'm making it the same way as we did the drawers for the um, ticket office with a load of folds as you can see there so we start off with a tab, 6mm fair, 5mm tab, then 10mm for the depth of the desk, and then 6.5 for the drawers there and there, and then 10mm space in the middle. And then we bring it back on itself with another tab, and then we glue a back on. And uh, yeah, it's a bit all over the place at the moment. But once it gets its desktop on, that will straighten everything up. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit more challenging this little desk compared to other desks, stroke bureaus that we've done before. It's just a case of um, making this piecemeal, one little piece at a time. And uh, so that's ready for gluing on. That will square up the drawers, like I said. Then what we'll do, we'll put two little base pieces on the, on the bottom. And then, then we'll work out what I'm going to do with the top. And this is Sid's desk, now finished. Um, the top half, all I did there was glue two bits of card back to back, like we have here. And cut a piece off after putting a, a pen dot in for the drawers and I just cut that off um, and then glued it in place put in a thin piece of card like you see there and there made it up as a box dropped in a, a piece of card in the middle there and then shaped two ends like we have here and then put on a top to finish up and there we are Sid's desk just requires staining and varnishing. Moving on a little bit, I've made a couple of other desks. These you've seen me make before. Uh, if I just show you, it's got layers of card wrapped in paper. Um, so that's the desk stand. Uh, the cabinet here, I've actually stuck the radio on, which will help us um, um, hold hold the cabinet while I paint it and I've also made this safe uh, usual way made a cardboard carcass if you like and then backfilled it with some 2 mil thick card and then cutting some toothpicks in half and putting a couple of bits either side to give it that strong sturdy look and a little handle there um, for the locking me mechanism which will uh, then hopefully make it look like a safe once it's painted right moving on the next thing I want to tackle is the refreshments room benches I'm just going to use these just for quickness I'm just going to add some cushions on the, the, the seat and the back and that will be the seats for the refreshments room. So I have now assembled all of these seats and I've made them to the instructions except for one thing. The seat here, the planking, I've fitted it to the underside 
of the seat frame, seat support frame, rather than the top side. The reason being is, once these have dried, I'm going to be sticking on some cushions. So I've already painted some cushions, and these are a mil high, so once they're glued on there, it'll bring the seat up to the right height. So that's all I've done with these. The next thing I want to make is some filing cabinets. Um, you don't only see these dotted around the offices, so I'm going to make two sets of these. One set for Sid and one set for the um, ticket office. So it's the same as what we've done before. We'll just cut a strip of card at 20mm, which is the height, and mark it out and fold it and then draw the doors or the drawers onto the filing cabinets. So that's what we're going to do next. So the depth is uh, 8.5 millimeters. So we'll just mark that. So we'll mark out all the measurements. So it's 8.5 to there. And then we do the 21 millimeters from there to there, the 21. And then we do the 8.5 yet again. So that gives us the full size of the cabinet. And then it's just a case of drawing the lines with a pen. And then we divide up the middle square here into four draw cabinets. So we'll mark that at seven and then seven and that should leave seven lines there so we just got to divide this up into four which is quite easy because it's twenty mils just five mil segments one two and then just draw the line just across them three lines only so let's just cross those two lines only and we should end up with the four four sets of drawers ending up in 12. Just scribe a little handle on each one and then when you come to paint it just put a white dob of paint above the handles because normally these drawers will normally have some sort of sticker or label on saying what's in the drawers. And sometime later you should end up with something like this. Um, as you can see I've put a piece of card on the top, a piece of card on the bottom and I've put an extra thin piece of card on the back so that we can miss the skirting when we stick these to the wall. So these are now ready for painting. What I'm doing now is um, I'm setting up the rooms before I start uh, installing these into the building and um, I'm just looking around and making sure I've got enough items of interest for each room. Um, so here we have the, if I just move this slightly, we have the refreshment rooms, there's those four benches and as you can see I've added the, the cushions on those benches which gives them the height back. I've also added a, a cabinet there and two coffee tables. Um, I'm in the process at the moment of making a couple of these little armchairs which are going to sit one either side of the fireplace so there's the, the second one this is the, the cabinet with the radio on as you can see there so that's done and this is Sid's desk with he now has his telephone, his red handled, or his red phone, the emergency phone, whatever you like to call it. So that's that. Um, if I move that back that way, you see he's got a nice rug as well. 
and uh, we move that further along. All these items are just loose at the moment. And here is the uh, more important the ticket office with the two desks, two sets of chairs, and the safe. I'm not sure if the safe is safe to pick up because it's still a bit tacky. So there's the, the safe. I've still got to paint some hinges onto it yet, but uh, let's just put that gently back down and then we still got the the filing cabinets so it's all taken shape and we're so close to putting these rooms into the building itself so I've just got to make one more of these little chairs now that all the furniture is done it's time to fit everything into the building now we've got a slight problem here where the cables are going to get in the way so in order to fix that I'm going to have to cut down the center of this floor cut away this section here so the cables can come through so we'll do the ticket office first glue all the bits and pieces onto there and then do that room first and then we can offer up the rest of this floor to the building once the ticket office is done so that's what I'm going to have to do for this. So this is what I had in mind to get around to the problem. And I think that's going to work. And what we do then with this piece, the other half of the floor, we shall just offer that up in the same way. And we should have a nice fitting joint all the way through. And this is what's going to look like inside the ticket office. Now I've already glued the safe and the um, cabinets into the building already. And I've stuck Matey there. And he's got a little tiny ticket in his hand. So he's looking at the ticket before he gives it to the customer. So that is ready to go into the building. I've now stuck the bases into the building and uh, what's ready for a testing of the lights. But before we go over to Tyne and Dock we thought we'd have one last look at one other detail I've added and that's the clock above the ticket office so when the passengers come to purchase their tickets they can see what time it is. Every station should have a station clock. Right, the exciting bit. Let's give this a test. And here we are, we're back at Tyne Dock Station and we've placed the building onto the platform. So we're just gonna have a quick look around and to pick out what we can see and can't see. And now that we've finished all the detailing inside, so we'll start with the ref not the refreshments room, the waiting room, and you can see the, the old boys there at the back come back out, there they are quite happy, chatting away and we can see the flowers on the on the cabinet there we can see all the chairs and the, the couple sitting next to the window that have got their backs to us so we can see the fireplace so yeah we can see everything more or less in the waiting room now then the ladies next door I don't think we're gonna see anything in there uh, let's try a little bit of a zoom in might be able to see Ooh, come back out a bit No, we, we can't see anything in there. Just see the floor. As we go around to the door, we come back out. Go back in, gently. Now we can just only see the floor. And just about make up the sink. But really, we can't see a lot in there. But we know it's there. Moving along to Sid's office now. We can see the filing cabinets, the desk and the chairs. 
And if we move these Sid and Charlie Chapman out of the way, we can zoom in through the door and hopefully catch a glimpse of the radio. Maybe it's right in that corner and it's at a very acute angle, so I don't think we're going to see much on that. Well, we can see the cabinet that the radio's sitting on. I think I can't get the camera to go in at the angle to see it, but uh, we, we know it's there. And then the ticket office. Now, <laughs> we've got even less windows on the ticket office, but we can see the desk straight away, straight in front of you there. See the lamp. Make out the tape writer. Just about. Oop, come out, come out, come out. Yes, you can just about see the safe in the background. That light green with the curved brass plate. Yeah. So, I think it was worth putting all those little things in because from here we can actually see that there's something in the rooms. So that's another phase of the build done. So the next step is to join that building with this building um, so we can connect the electrics up. But before we do that we got the mega task of adding the canopies and the roofs. But the station is almost ready for business. Right, right. I think that's all from me now. And uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, I do enjoy reading your comments, so please keep them coming. And um, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. What do you think of your office, Sid? Yes, you've done a grand job, Mr. Easton. Grand job at all. I'm not sure about the rug. The rug? Oh. That was a gift from the Board of Directors. Board of Directors? Yes, they said it would uh, help add some class to your office. Don't be daft, lad. Anyway, when are you going to fix my roof? Uh, 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 I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, uh, Sid. Um, hopefully pretty soon. Well, don't dilly-dally, boy. Don't dilly-dally.